I happened to notice our finish. You know, I thought that that was really what's important to me is how we finished and the fact that, you know, we could score there with Dontrell and our defense could go out there and, you know, continue to stop them. That's what, that's what concerns me. Can you turn that off, please? That'd be great. Winning takes care of everything. That, that's what I learned a long time ago in, in athletics. Uh, winning, winning takes care of everything. I mean, I think we, you know, we love our fans. They're loud. You know, I mean, we're the, some of our. Again, I'm happy for our organization to be able to win a title. I'm happy for our, our fans. You know, I mean, they, they've been uh, they've been great. And uh, some of the defensive guys are even commenting, like trying to make checks or communication, and uh, and it's getting loud. And we practice that. You know, I mean, we practice that. You know, the defense having to do that at home games. So, you know, that's really refreshing. Defense held them to three points. I don't think they got in the red zone all day. What did you see from your defensive guys? Oh, we gave up some plays. I thought they swarmed. You know, I thought there was a speed there, and you know, we, you know, we anticipated what the weather was going to be like. And I thought that uh, all the credit goes to the players, obviously, but the way that you know we managed the game, uh, you know, and took advantage of their their mistakes. Just like the way you ran the ball, and how fluent to do that on a, on a day like today. Well, it was tough sledding there early. I mean, it was tough. You know, that's a that's a good run defense. They pressure a lot. Um, you know, but I felt like the the plan was good. The the finish was good. We hit some runs, and um, you know we were able to bust a couple there at the end. With Ryan getting two touchdown passes, obviously against his former team, uh, how was he leading up to this game? And did you give him a game ball after this? No, I, I mean the, the the game ball will go to the entire team. Ryan was great. We really, you know, we didn't have a whole lot of conversation about. Remember back three years ago when you played for the Dolphins? We just we focused on our preparation. Fourth down. Early for, for you to get things going. No doubts there on, on any of those. I don't imagine. She made a decision. What's wrong, Paul? You didn't like the answer there. I just, you know, what I mean, I'm just sorry. Like, no doubt. I mean, you 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 guys, there 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 can't be doubt. You know, and you live in doubt. I, we don't. We we like to live in being decisive and. Uh, and giving our players a chance to to go make plays, that that's what that's what sports, that's what that athletics and and competition is about. And sometimes, you know, it works, and sometimes it doesn't. But doubt, no, no doubt. Well, I need, you know, I mean, it's just it it it's awful. Um, it's a you know, we all know what we signed up for and what this game. You know, gives us and sometimes what it takes away from us. And, uh, you know, Pru would, you know, obviously I have history with him at other places and here. And, you know, he had been playing well and playing, you know, physical and helping us, you know, in the run game and, and catching the ones that we threw to him. And so, you know, hopefully, you know, we'll be able to, uh, you know, just see where he's at. And, you know, saw him at halftime, but I haven't seen him since then. Mike, with getting the just on the subject of health, the, the offensive line started to finish the game tonight without issue. How big is that for the consistency for the running backs? Well, I mean, I think that that's something that's uh, you, know, you want to have all your guys out there that are working together, and you know, Ben's the glue to that unit. You know, we feel confident where where we are and getting guys that haven't been in there. Maybe Dylan played last week, played some today. Brew plays, and you know, everybody's ready to jump in there. With getting the division um, locked up, a, a playoff spot locked up, do you hope that maybe that gives you some um, kind of what is it? Sorry, um, some room, kind of with, with Derek, um, just in terms of hoping he can get back for you guys, knowing you guys are already yeah, headed down. I think that the plan is always going to be, you know, where where is he at? You know, every, each individual player um, can they do their job effectively? Can can they make it worse? And uh, can they protect themselves out there? I mean, you guys, you know, it, it's a violent game, and we don't want to put guys out there that, that can't go out there and protect themselves or they can make it worse. Oh, you guys on Back, you know, we joked before the game. I said, you know, if he forgot how to put his shoulder pads on, Rashawn, make sure you help him uh, buckle him up. But it's been a while, and David, you know, is a passionate player, and really um, it's fun to see him go out there and make some plays for us and, and get the interception there. 
hadn't won consecutive division titles since 60, 61, the first two years. What's it say about this group of guys that they've been able to forge? Well, we, you know, I mean, I think when you do this, uh, you want to do it and you want to try to create a family. You know, you want to try to create a family that, that has a common goal of winning and understand that, you know, every, every member of that family or this team is, is going to be different, is going to be, free, be from somewhere else. And, and it's our job to try to bring everybody together for a common goal of winning. And, uh, and that's what we've always tried to do. Well, I mean, I think that's winning takes care of everything. And that's, that's what we told them um, all the time. And that, that we were, the mentality was that we were just getting started. And, uh, you know, we'll have to prepare for, for a team that's been playing really well and that's already beaten us, you know, once this year. The importance of peaking this late in the season. Do you feel like you guys are peaking, and if so, in what ways? I, mean, I think that there's some consistency. I thought we've, you know, we've we've been able to run the football. We've we've been able to take care of the football. Um, you know, these last couple games, you see how critical that is to be able to, to take care of the football. Uh, we we got off to a, to a much faster start, and uh, yeah, I know there was moments there in the third quarter where we kind of stalled and they kind of moved the football, but. I thought we responded there in the fourth quarter with, with really great effort. We've heard, you, we've heard you use the phrase, uh, we're just getting started a few times now. But before you go there, how do you think you guys even just got here considering all the different challenges that you were faced all season? Um, you know, I think it's a resolve by, by the type of people that are in our building that we've tried to bring in. Um, I've tried not to panic. Uh, when things come up, we, we just deal with it. We explain to them, we show them history of guys that have gone in and taken advantage of opportunities, have gone on uh, to, to have you know, great careers. Um, I think that they have seen other players on our team go in when guys are down. And you know, we've had some guys that have helped us out that didn't have jobs. Buster Screen was out of work. Uh, Deontay Foreman was out of work. And, and when, you, when you get that opportunity, you, you're not in a big hurry to give give it up, and uh, that's what some of those guys have done. I think it's 88 guys you guys have played this year. That's a record. Seeing some of those guys in this moment does that make it more special? Well, it's always going to be special, but I think that some of those guys that uh, you know maybe a lot of people haven't heard of, or you know maybe didn't expect to to help us out at points throughout the the season. It is very rewarding uh, to know that we've helped those guys be in a position to, to go out on the field and execute and uh, given them the, the confidence and the trust to go out there and do their job.